Alan Newcastle sits alone watching YouTube videos on his computer when suddenly he hears an all too familiar cry for help. There is no expectation of privacy in public. There's no need to fear. Hezokai is here. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to take a moment to honor a true American hero, a patriot whose tireless efforts to protect our rights are a shining beacon of light in a dark, dark world. A man who has, through his cunning mind and voracious appetite for justice, discovered, finally, the true path to real freedom. The one man whose most brilliant and effective audits has torn down the veil of government deceit and created a new level of transparency within the government that will most assuredly assure a bright and hopeful future for our children. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it is in fact true that our greatest American hero, Denver Metro Audits, is back at the library. Columbine Library. And I'm here with Sweetie Audits. So we came here to check this one out, guys. Let's go in here and see how it goes. Oh boy, oh boy, I can't wait to see the assault. I wonder how much time he ends up spending in the hospital after such a brutal encounter. Oh, it's gonna be great. Library right now. Can't film in the library? Yeah, and you can't film me. You can't film you? No. How come? People are. Hey, what are you doing? Don't touch me, lady. What am I doing? Hey, oh, this lady's no, assaulting me. Get outside. Since the invention of the beatdown, there have been five beatdowns that were rated the most passionate, the most pure, and this one left them all behind. Let's take another look, shall we? Hey, what are you doing? Don't touch me, lady. What am I doing? Hey, oh, this lady's assaulting me. Get outside. Whoa. Go outside. What are you doing? Get away. I just said you can't get film away. me, and you're filming me. She asked you not to film That's her. right, and she told no, you you can't put film her in the hands library. On him. She you just assaulted After. me, man. You just assaulted me. Unacceptable. Leave. Get the Leave. fuck out of my Who's face. Who's in whose face? You yeah, said you just assaulted me, ma'am. You just assaulted me. You can't put your hands on people, ma'am. You ma cannot film me. You cannot Maybe film me. Maybe you should have thought about Who that before you? you go and put your hands Excuse on people. Me? I did. I told him no. And then you went and put your hands on Could people. Could you call the police? How dare you? Yeah, call you? the police so I can press charges on you, ma'am, yeah, for a battery. Over here with me. That's yeah, ridiculous that you think you can just grab people, ma'am. I didn't just you, grab you. Yeah, you pushed me in the chest. What happened before that? Good luck. That doesn't that. give you permission to put your hands on. It doesn't people. give you permission to film me. Don't be filming me. Okay, don't. Well, she assaulted me, so I'm gonna record her. I told her. you, don't film me. That doesn't you give you the right to, to put me. your hands on me. Yeah, yeah, let's uh, call 911, please. Please call 911. Please call. Please. Come. Wow. This is crazy. That was insane. For this next bit, DMA himself actually made my job much, much easier. He included a compilation of all the times he was brutally assaulted. And wait till you see how much pain, agony, and horrible, horrible, horrible beatdowns 
he has to put up with to continue fighting for our freedom. I'm allowed to no, do that, ma'am. Hey, don't, you can't, that's against that. the law, ma'am. You can't grab my it camera. Is, you just hurt, you just assault, you're assaulting me, ma'am. Good. You need to go. Oh, shit. Give me your whoa, card. Whoa, 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 she's, oh, she's right in my face, guys. Give me your card. You need to go Oh, outside. she's grabbing my camera. Don't touch me, ma'am. Go outside. What are you doing? Please. Okay, how about we grab my arm? What's wrong with you? Look at how rude she is. Hey, don't touch my camera, lady. I'm not touching it. Yeah, you did touch it. We would like to see your hey, face. Hey, don't touch my camera. What are you doing, lady? Don't even touch me, ma'am. What are you doing? It's the information from passenger. Hey, don't passenger. touch me, ma'am. What are you doing? You can't record me. Don't touch me. That's, that's battery. No, 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 weird shit. Hey, don't touch my camera, bitch. Yeah, that's You'll get fucking sprayed. So this is the lady right here that called the police on us. I did not call anybody. Well, I you're the not. one that told me immediately that I can't record in here, and then that lady assaulted me. Right, because of what you did, that escalated. Yeah, you were the one that set the tone for the whole interaction by saying that we can't record in here, ma'am. And then she goes and grabs him. You saw her assault him and grab him first. Don't deny that, ma'am. That was unacceptable. That was shameful. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, look, she's You're like, the one that set that tone. Yeah, man, you caused the whole fire here. Hi. Hi there. It's fine to film the library building and materials and staff. We just ask that you don't film the people using the library. Well, I mean, I can ask you to give me five bucks, right? I mean, I can ask you to take your shoes off. There's lots of things that you can ask me to do, but I have a right to record every, anything I can see in here, ma'am. And, and your, your, whoever was up there at the front immediately started yelling at us, saying that we're not allowed to record right now in the library, which sparked a reaction from a patron. She assaulted me and grabbed my chest. And then some other guy came up and started a, like a mob mentality. That's the thing, is that you guys as the employees set the tone for the entire interaction. And when you guys get irate like that and out of control, then the other patrons see that behavior and they think that if the employees are acting that way, now I can act that way. And then this other guy was like, call 911, call 911. I mean, this is ridiculous, ma'am. This is this is a, a First Amendment protected activity, ma'am. I understand we have a lawful that you. Right. I understand that you are allowed to film in here. I I do not, um, and you are allowed to film staff. You know, I'm staff. Of course, you're allowed to film me. Um, I just we do protect our patrons' privacy, and if a patron does not want to be filmed, we ask that you respect that. A fraudster showing respect. <laughs> okay, well, I mean, like I said, I can ask, I require everyone, I have my own personal policy, that everyone that I talk to has to give me five bucks before we start the conversation. But 100% of the time, everyone's disobeyed my policy, right? Because they don't actually have to. So here's the thing, ma'am, this is a public, we're not trying to like antagonize people, but this is a public space, ma'am. So there's no privacy in public. So this is like if I was recording on a sidewalk, somebody couldn't say, don't record me on a sidewalk. Yeah. So yes, it's your obligation to protect their privacy. So there is a CRS 24-90-119, which states that a publicly supported library shall not disclose any information of any patron having used the library. It's just like a HIPAA law. That's not on me, that's on you guys. But you can't turn my First Amendment protected activity into any type of crime. There's case law that backs up what we're doing, man. We know what we're doing. We did our research before we came here. And again, we came in here to peacefully do a tour of your library and check it out. Before, literally, we didn't even get past the front doors before we were assaulted and yelled at by one of your employees. Which so, triggered a chain reaction. To I understand the, what you're saying, and yeah. that's unfortunate. So, so are the police it coming then? I'm sorry? Are the police coming? Uh, I am not aware if they are or not. Well, well, could you find out? Cause, yeah, because we can't leave until, because we don't want to flee the scene. Right. If the police are here, then we don't want them out there looking for us. So would you be able to find that out sure. for us? Sure. Thank you, Renee. I'll check into that. Um, tell me your name, please. My name is Renee. And what is your position here, please? I'm the manager. You're the manager. Thank you. I'm sure our staff mentioned that you shouldn't be filming other patrons in the library. We shouldn't be filming patrons? Right. Why is that? Well, with patron confidentiality, their use of the library is protected. Okay. What is protected? Their use of the library. Oh, that, yeah, that's fine. I mean... Their use of the library is protected. So basically with the CRS um, for public library states that you guys shall not disclose any information in regards to patrons using the library. 
So that's all it is. It just basically says that you can't tell me if somebody checked out a book. Like if I want to know who's the person that checked out a book, you can't just disclose that to me, right? That's what the privacy law is for libraries, ma'am. Do you guys need any information about the library? No, we don't need any. What we need really is for you guys to stop giving us unlawful directives and tell us that we can't record patrons, ma'am. We didn't come in here to record patrons. We come in here to do a tour of your lobby and your, your, your library here. I've never been to this one. And I got assaulted right away and, and your lady over there at the front desk was yelling at us right before when we came in saying that we can't record in here, which is not true, man. Let me know if you want any information about the library. My name is Cheryl. And what is your position here? I'm the patron experience supervisor here at Colony. Okay. <coughs> patron experience supervisor. Okay. So as the patron experience supervisor, ma'am, you should know that that, uh, that the patrons don't have a right to not be recorded in here. Just education for you for the next time, because we're going to definitely have to come back now. Oh, goody. They're going to go back to the library. Wow. Now I feel safe and secure in my rights and my freedom because this idiot is going to go back to the library again. What could be better for civil rights? than hanging out in the library, arguing with people, um, wait, what? And do a follow-up visit from the way I was assaulted immediately. Uh, so when we come back, we don't want people to be telling us not to record patrons and that they have privacy, because they don't. This is a public space, man. They don't have privacy in public. Yeah, that's what I should be asking, Steve. Where Chattio is, man. I mean, is Chadio the supervisor over here training these guys or what? So we're still getting confirmation on whether they called the police or not because they, they were hollering call 911 and everything else just because we came in here with cameras. It was crazy. Man. So, ma'am, uh, Cheryl, do you know if the police are coming? Because Renee said she was going to find out for us, but it's been a while. The, the police have been called. They have been called? Okay, so the police have been called. We got confirmation, guys. So they called the police on free Americans for walking inside of a library with a camera. No, you bring dead crayon munching, window licking, glue eating, block headed, dim witted jack wagon. They called because you caused a disturbance. That's it. So we'll see what happens, guys, when the police get here. At this moment, you're all about to witness the most adversarial, tyrannical police interaction ever caught on film. Get ready as we venture deep into the recesses of civil rights violations that expose police corruption and their general disdain for the American public. Behold, with great awe, the insipid audacity of these vile officers as they reveal their pure, unadulterated hatred for humankind. Hi. Hi. Alright guys, so police are here guys. Police are here. And so after that, they uh, talk to the cops and say they want to press charges against the lady who quote-unquote assaulted him. And they start demanding her information so they could file a complaint on her. And then get into a big hubbubaloo about how, even though earlier in the video they said that they understand the CRS that says the library can't give information of customers or whatever, they start complaining about not being able to get information and blah, 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 a bunch of crap. Anyway, um, that's pretty much all I got for that, except at the very end of his video, and I just wanted to show this because I always talk about how these guys try to create false equivalencies, and he ends his video with these two clips that he's showing as an example that what these people in these clips are doing are supposed to be exactly the same thing as what he's doing. And let me know in the comments if you see a difference.